Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use looks for Shopify review. So in this case, uh, before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you start using looks for Shopify reviews? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy, but there's going to be some requirements that you need first here. So first is you need to have a product first in your account. So make sure that you add your products first into your account. And once you've done that, we're now ready to install looks. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to the settings at the bottom left here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to apps and sales channel. Now from here, what we need to do is just click on the Shopify app store at the top right here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to basically look for looks. So in this case, go to the top section, just type in looks here, press and enter. And from here, you should be able to see the app itself. In this case, let's go and click on it. And from here, let's go and click on install. Now once you've installed this, what we need to do next is we need to basically allow it to be installed. Let's go and click on install. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to follow the following uh, pop-ups that will be appearing on our screen. So in this case, since we want to try this first, let's go ahead and click on Use Looks Free. And from here, what we need to do is we need to follow the Welcome to Looks option. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the Continue button here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to enable the Looks Core Script. In this case, go ahead and click on the button that says Enable Looks Core Script. And from here, it's going to open up a new tab, which in this case, what you need to do is you just need to make sure that the looks option is actually enabled or the script for it is actually enabled. So once you've done that, what you need to do is just click on save at the top right here just to make sure that your changes are saved. And from here, let's go back into the previous page. Now from here, it's going to say verifying. So it's looks score core script is enabled. Let's go and click continue. And from here, what we need to do is we need to add our product reviews widget to our store. In this case, let's go and click on add product reviews widget. And from here, it's going to open up our editor, which in this case, what we need to do is we need to wait for it to load up because it's going to automatically add that. As you can see right now, we have the product review widget here. As you can see, once you uh, see that in here, what we need to do next is we just need to click on the save at the top right here, and that should uh, be done. Now from here, let's go ahead and exit this one and go back, and it's going to verify itself. Go ahead and hit on continue again. Now from here, we want to add a rating widget to your store. Let's go ahead and click on add rating widget. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to follow the steps again. So in this case, wait for it to load up. And from here, wait uh, wait for the rating widget actually appearing here. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and click on the save at the top right again. And from here, let's go ahead and go back into the previous page. It's going to verify again and hit on continue. Now from here, what's your store's primary language? So we're going to choose English here. Let's go ahead and continue. And from here, we want to change a few things here. Like for example, the brand color, the icon color, or the icon style here. Now if you want to change your icon style, you could go ahead and do that. So for example, I want to use the fire icon here. And instead of uh, the yellow color here, we want to make it red. Now from here, we want to go ahead and click on continue here. But in this case, you can change a few things if you want to. Now in this case, it's going to ask you when should they ask for reviews. In this case, you could go ahead and ask or basically specify how many days that you want to uh, for them to actually before they actually ask them uh, for a review. So for example, I'm going to say seven days and after fulfillment. In this case, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now. Offer a discount for submitting photo videos and reviews. So if you want to offer some form of discount to compensate for them giving you a good review, then in this case, you can go and specify it. So for example, 10% for photos, 15% for videos. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say, now let's set up your referrals program. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, you could go ahead and indicate whatever whatever percent they want to have for a friend discount. So let's just say 7% advocate reward is you could go ahead and specify that and the minimum purchase amount. So for example, I'm going to say around 1,000 peso here. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say post purchase referrals widget. Now if you want to display referrals widget after purchase, you could go ahead and enable this one. But for now, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to ask you on-site referral widgets. So if you want to display on-site referral widgets, you could go ahead and enable that and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say you're all set. In this case, let's go and click on the enter the admin page here. Now our admin page would contain most of the details that we'll be able to view. Like for example, your reviews. So the current reviews that you have, reviews requests sent, reviews collected, and photo videos reviews. So you also have the referral section, upsells here, and a lot more. 
Now, if you want to view your data view section, you go to the data views uh, left panel here, go ahead and click on it. And from here, you have the managing new reviews. So if you want to manage your reviews or your current reviews, the, the discount for your photo reviews, video free reviews, emails, and a lot more. So for example, if you want to manage your review, um, new reviews here, you go ahead and click on it and enable the following options here as well. Now you have the review widgets here. So in this case, if you want to uh, basically use a uh, widget for a specific uh, team or for your specific uh, review here, you could go ahead and specify that. But in this case, uh, by default, you already have one, which in this case is going to review sidebar widget here. But you can change this by clicking add to team or clicking activate here. In this case, if you want to manage your reviews here, this is where you'll be able to see it. So if you want to send manual requests or import reviews, you can go ahead and do that. So if you want to import, just click on import reviews. And from here, it's going to give you instructions on how to do that. In this case, if you want to view your referrals, you can go to the referral section here. And from here, you have the offers. So you can basically indicate whether the uh, section is going to be two-sided incentive or one-sided incentive here. You also have the widgets for the referrals and even the settings if you want to change a few things. Now, if you want to change the upsell here, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, we want to go to settings. Now, under settings, you should be able to see the general appearances, integrations, and order. Now, if you want to change the appearance for your uh, review, looks reviews here, then for example, you could upload your logo, the corner radius here, the rating icon like what we changed before, and even the color for it. Also have the widgets font here and looks branding if you want to. Now, if you want to change integrations, you could go to integrations like adding shop app, Google Shopping, Meta Shops, X, Aftership, and a lot more. Now you also have the order section here and the general option as well. Now in this case, there's going to be a lot of things that I give you here. Like for example, if you want or if you really want to start using looks here for reviews, you can just click on the view plans here because in this case, you are currently using the free trial for looks only. In this case, you could try their beginner, which is going to be 14.99 USD a month. Scale, which is 39.99 a month, and unlimited is going to be 299.99 a month. But in this case, you can still start using it for 14 days. But once the trial, uh, the free trial is up, you need to basically subscribe to their services or get a plan with them for you to start using their full capacity or their full features here. Now, by the way, if you aren't able to see the app section here, if you don't see uh, looks here, you can go to the bottom left of your screen here, click on settings. And from here, you should be able to see the option for the following options or the following uh, settings here. Go to apps and sales channel. And from here, you should be able to see looks. So once you see it, you could go ahead and click on it again. And from here, you could go ahead and click on open app to see it. Now, if you want to view it, uh, basically access it over and over again, you don't have to access or do that all again. You could go ahead and click on the pin to your navigation button here and you should be able to pin it into your admin page here. But in this case, that's about it. So using looks here is pretty easy. You just need to customize whatever you want here. There's going to be a lot of here. So I would suggest you to explore all the things that you'll be, uh, you'll be able to access here, like your views, referrals, and the settings itself. But yeah, so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.